But my point, my presence here is to highlight one point, and that is there are people at the present time in the occupied territory that are suffering because of Kahana's and his likes, and there has to be a stop to it. If our interest, that of the United States or the entire world, is peace, there has to be an end to the Israeli occupation. But if your interest is really peace, will you and your people recognize the lawful, peaceful existence of Israel? The existence, the issue of the lawful existence of the state of Israel will have to come within a comprehensive peace settlement that includes the existence of a Palestinian state as well. Uh, that, that's kind of... That's kind of like, that's kind of like telling your girlfriend uh, you're going to wear a rubber and you don't, you know, I mean, uh, uh, why do you have to have that, why can't you first say they have the right to exist, all right, and because they have the right to exist, you would like to sit at the peace table with them? I think that if the question is directed to the representative of the Palestinian people, and that is the Palestine Liberation Organization, then they will receive an appropriate answer for that. Let me ask you, uh, Rabbi, your idea for moving the Palestinians out of Israel may meet with considerable opposition. Uh, what will you say to the Palestinians who refuse to leave? One thing clear. This cop-out of an answer here made it quite, quite clear that the problem is not the West Bank. This man, and quite honestly from his point of view, believes that Jaffa is also his. My mother was born in Jaffa. You what the hell are you talking about? That's wonderful. <laughs> he is exhibit one for Kahana. Because his mother came from Jaffa, he'll never recognize Jaffa as part of Israel. He'll never recognize Israel. And would, I, you, would you, under a comprehensive peace plan, rec recognize Jaffa as part of Israel? If it includes too. the establishment of a Palestinian state. Yes. All right, what if, what if the Israelis, all right, what if the Israelis said, okay, uh, we are going to give you the Gaza Strip as your Palestinian state. Well, what would you say? You know, you are putting a hypothetical situation. Sure, that it's, not... it's all hypothetical oh. now because no one's sitting down okay. at the peace table. Let me finish. A hypothetical situation that does not make sense. Simply because at the present time, what the Palestinians representing by, represented by the PLO are saying, let us establish a mini Palestinian state on the West Bank, the Gaza Strip, and the eastern part of Jerusalem. And within, once that state is established, and if, if you want peace, then peace will come along with that well, as well. Let's, let, let's, let's iron this out for just a second, all right? And jump in here, Meyer, if you want to. Okay, well, if, if, we, if the deal is made, all right, and the Israelis say they're going to give you the West Bank and they're going to give you the Gaza Strip, don't you think they'd be stupid putting themselves into a pincer movement? You've got them on the left, you've got them on the right, you move in, you squeeze them out. If I were out. Israel, I would not worry. Israel has been able to defeat any combination of Arab armies over the last three decades. Who the hell is going to be worried? Well, you know... Yeah. They have the West Bank. Everything that he just said that he, uh, that he wants as his mini-state, they have. Why didn't Jordan create a Palestine until such a time? Why simply because, because, simply because, simply because if you want to talk to the Palestinians, talk Egypt to the Palestinians, not Jordan. Why didn't Egypt, which had Gaza, create Palestine? The answer is that Jordan doesn't want Palestine, Egypt doesn't want Palestine, and hell, I don't want Palestine either. Do you really feel, and let's not go back to 1948 but you to have solve to. this, because we can't solve it in 1948. But he is going back to 48. His mother came from Jaffa. Is that a question? But he's already... I understand him. I respect him. That's why I know that he'll never give me peace. I understand him. He, he sincerely believes that all of Israel is his. I understand him. Now, what's going to happen if you take power in Israel, which is ah. all of the time becoming a more and more of a reality, all right? First of all, first of all, that, that worries me. That worries me because, quite obviously, you don't think of this country as an ally. That bothers me. I think of this country as every country has interests and not allies. Sure. When I say that it is not an ally, what I, what I mean is that when American interests 
run counter to those of Israel, America quite naturally will follow its own interests, which is natural, which is normal. I expect that. That's why it's not an ally. But at we no have, time since the interest. creation of the Israeli state yes. has the United States not had interests, as you say. That's true. In and Israel. their interests in 1956 caused Eisenhower to pressure Israel to pull out of the Sinai. That's Was it Israel's interest that caused them to bomb and kill 37 innocent Americans on the Liberty? Yes. It was a terrible, a terrible, terrible tragedy. And that's what happens when a spy ship spies. Terrible, terrible, terrible even tragedy. to your allies, I even agree to with your you. allies. I think, I think it was a terrible, terrible mistake on the part of a U.S. spy ship to be spying on, on Israel. And secondly, I think it was a mistake bombing that, that ship. You're right. It was, it was two mistakes. Okay, we've accomplished something. It was two mistakes. Something. We've accomplished but that something, has nothing, right? that has nothing to uh, do with what my uh, I, I, friend again, over here says. Again, and I which have he to says, say. The issue is not the West Bank. The issue is the legitimacy of a Jewish state, which he denies. You, you cannot start from 67. In the 1920s, before there was a Jewish state, they were, they were killing Jews. In one day, in 1929, in Hebron, they killed 67 Jews. Now, who was inciting, who was the Nazi that was inciting them, them then in 29? Kahana? I wasn't even born yet. So therefore, the essential problem is that there can't be peace. And I say that tragically, because I serve in the army, and my son but, does. But and I want that. peace more than both of you want peace, because you both l live here, and I can guarantee you, you will always live, live here, and not, and not there again, that's for sure. So I live there. I live there. And I want peace, but he'll never give me peace. All right. Well